Hello, and welcome to Strategy Stories from the Real World, a series where we look inside at how leaders of everyday organizations make tough and thoughtful strategic decisions. Welcome back to our series focused on big, bold vision. During each show, we'll be digging into how leaders set and achieve their bold visions for success and how it helps them to lead their organizations impactfully. Today's guest is James Vanal. James is the president of sales and co-owner of Healing Healthcare Systems. He is an accomplished, results-driven leader with 15 years of experience in sales, marketing, and leadership. He is also a one-third member of the Leadership Council for Healing Healthcare. Healing Healthcare provides a 24-hour continuous broadcast of therapeutic patient programming comprised of nature video and originally composed instrumental music. Their evidence-based programming supports healthcare facilities in creating a healing environment at each patient's bedside. Their work has helped transform patient care in more than 1,000 hospitals, clinics, medical offices, and residential care facilities around the globe. We're excited to share James's wisdom and for him to share how his organization is helping heal through therapeutic programming. Welcome, James. Thank you so much for sitting here with us today. I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you for having me. You're welcome. So let's jump right in. Can you give us a little bit of background on your organization's unique leadership structure for our viewers? Yeah, uh, back in 2018, we had a shift in management at that, that time, and the decision was made by the former owners to forego hiring an administrative director. At that point, that led to the creation of our leadership council with three employees that were handpicked by the former owners. Wow, that's awesome. A very different way of looking at leadership. So you've been with Healing Healthcare for almost nine years. How would you describe the leadership style of the council and how does it feel to be a part of your unique organization? Well, number one, I love being a part of this organization, Uh, you know, being with the company for nine years. You know, I I tell everyone the best part of my day is actually coming to work when I get to walk through the front doors and, you know, get to the office and do what we do every day. Um, Our leadership style, you know, from the leadership council is really one that comes from empowerment. Uh, We really want to foster each individual to become leaders, not only in their seats, position, and or departments. Um, Next, we really kind of lead from a position of compassion. Uh, We really work to recognize that every team member is not only a valuable individual, but also an essential thread in the fabric of the entire organization. And how we lead by compassion is we just really want to be good listeners to our employees and departments. Um, Being there to really listen to our employees really kind of helps that strong leadership to understand challenges they're facing so that we can help provide stronger guidance. Um, Next is culture. We really, you know, work hard to cultivate a healthy and positive and resilient culture. Um, We provide a hybrid style of work for our employees. Uh, They can work from home on Mondays and Fridays, and then they come in the office on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, as well as we provide a shorter uh, 35-hour work week for all of our employees. So we really want to maintain our employees' work-life balance. Uh, We want to invest our employees' growth and watch them evolve in healing healthcare as a learning organization by being as authentic and organic as possible. Wow, that's incredible. A really incredible organization to work for. We always like to ask that because leadership has a lot to do with paving the way. Since this series is about bold visions, describe yours for me. Yeah, our our vision statement is very simple. Our vision is to influence, inspire, and enhance lives through our care programming. Um, Helping people is what drives this organization. You know, they get behind this vision because we're so fortunate to impact tens of thousands of people every day that are going through a very difficult time in the hospital or wherever they are at. And our programming is designed to help them. That's awesome. Leadership requires bringing people along on your journey. So how did the Leadership Council get your team to buy into that vision? 
Yeah, so I think one of the things that helps is that we are a smaller organization um, that really allows for closer professional and personal relationships with our employees. Um, and having a fun and positive company culture also contributes to the team embracing that vision. Um, the other thing about our vision, it's one that you can really feel good about because we have such a positive impact on people's lives. Um, it's, it's an easy mission that people want to help. And we know that the work we do um, is very impactful for everyone, you know, at over a thousand hospitals across the country. Impactful indeed. Can you tell us where you are on that journey and where you are today against that vision of success? Yeah, our vision and mission is really what guides us on this journey. Um, our vision is our true north as an organization, and it's the foundation of the work that we do every single day. Um, we really embrace this journey as an organization and embrace the work that we do, you know, as a leadership council, as well as as an employee of the company and work side by side with our employees. Uh, one of the things that sets us apart is that we know how much our work matters every single day to patients who need our programming. So we really, you know, impact the lives of patients every single day. And for our organization, that is success. I love it. Can you share with us some examples, highlights, or mile markers that you've celebrated on your journey? Yeah, for sure. Celebration, I think, is so important for every organization. If you're not out there celebrating the successes, um, not only is it important for the culture, but it also helps uh, reinvigorate and drive home what our mission is. So some of the big mile markers we've had as an organization, one was the transition of ownership uh, from the former owners to the leadership council. Um, we also, another big milestone was reaching a thousand hospitals for us. So our programming is in over a thousand hospitals across the United States, as well as hospitals in Hong Kong and Australia. Um, that, and we also have a, a strong dedication to innovation. Um, we consistently try and move new products. We've launched a virtual reality product over the last few years. We have a now an at-home product for a consumer-based version of the care channel, as well as a streaming service uh, for uh, hospitals as well. So we constantly work to innovate and really harness a culture where that innovation can take place, where people are free to get together, bring their ideas to the leadership council so that we can work hard to implement uh, some of these great ideas and bring new products to market. That's incredible how many lives you're touching. So let's dig a little deeper and get a little bit vulnerable for a second, if you don't mind. What are some of the detours you've experienced? How did you get back on track? Yeah, it's not so much about detours as we feel it's about change. We know that change is one of the most constant things that businesses and individuals face. And for us, our leadership council, we did a number of workshops on how to navigate and support change, um, which has really helped made our leadership council stronger. Not only do we embrace change, but we want it to be something that's positive and really helps the overall direction of the company. I think that's a great way to, to think about it and to help you grow and to find new ideas and create new products to help more people. So I appreciate your transparency there. Thank you so much, James. So for our final question, our followers love practical tips and takeaways. What is the one gem or nugget of wisdom or tip that you would like to share with other leaders about big, bold visions? Yeah, you know, I really feel that the vision statement needs to be the foundation of any organization. It's so important to have a team that really buys into that vision statement and helps provide that motivation and guidance. Uh, not only do you need to make time to consider the vision, but you need to take action every day towards the desired outcomes of that vision. You know, for us, we have a motion attached to that vision that we continue to believe in as our guiding principle. Uh, we know that there's always going to be roadblocks, challenges, and change. But for us, we really just want to move forward, help patients, and really work to improve the patient experience overall. Wonderful. James, thank you so, so much for your insight. It was a pleasure having you on today's show. As always, thank you all for watching. Also, don't forget to hit the like button 
button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We drop new videos every week. Happy strategizing. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Erica from On Strategy here. Today's whiteboard tip is from one of our recent CEO interviews on how to create a short but impactful vision. You know, we've talked about it's okay to have a longer vision and sometimes that's necessary, but it can also be really helpful to have a short, concise vision. It's not easy. So we created three tips to help you create a short vision that still connects to your core purpose. First one, use action verbs to create movement. I love a vision that has movement that says where we're going and why and what success looks like. And that needs to have a verb that has action. The second tip, if it's short, be concise, but be bold. Shorter doesn't mean any less powerful. And quite frankly, it can be more impactful. That's your second tip. And your third tip is if you keep it to one sentence and being short would mean that you're keeping it to one sentence, don't lose your why it still needs to communicate where you're going and the legacy that you want to leave. That's your third tip. And there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. If you like our content, subscribe. We drop videos every week. Happy strategizing.